There is a subset of anime that exists which sets itself apart from what would be considered the normal slice of life anime. That genre I have given the title bar anime, or you could go with drinking anime, either works. I am a fan of bars as I am a fan of beer and cocktails. Put this into anime and you instantly have me interested. Yet despite my interest, there are only a few anime that fit this mold. Each one I've seen I've left satisfied watching, but that doesn't change how popular it is with the masses. The only reason I can think of for why there is not many bars centralized anime is a lack of viewership demand. So here's my attempt to fix that and convince you to watch this anime genre that no one seems to be watching. People like drinking for many reasons. Some as a way to relax, some to enjoy the taste, some to enjoy the feeling. Whatever your reason, if you enjoy alcohol, you are a part of drinking culture. While society's thoughts on drinking varies throughout the world, most countries have some kind of culture around the concept. It brings people together and allows for a unified experience for those who participate. It's just an altogether enjoyable thing to experience. No matter who you are, what you do, what you believe, in a bar, none of that seems to matter. People are jolly, people feel relaxed. It's just all around a good atmosphere, most of the time. My first experience with an anime surrounding the idea of drinking culture was a short miniseries named Love is Like a Cocktail. The episodes are three minutes in length, it's short, it's sweet, and as a bonus it teaches you a cocktail recipe each episode. What more could I ask for? It follows a salary working wife and a stay at home husband, and I watched all 12 episodes in one sitting. I loved the anime. I got the feeling I get when I watch a series that I know is new and different than anything I'd seen before. But despite how much I searched for a like minded show, there isn't anything out there. That is until I found a series that was drastically different in concept but held the same love for drinking culture. Bartender. A 2009 show following a, you guessed it, bartender and the people that come into his bar. A showcase of the various philosophies of bartending, the different levels of skill, the thought that goes behind the work. The show can be taken as a love letter to the bartending career. It's a service job like no other. Depending on what level you work at, you could be just handing out beer or you could be creating cocktails by order, altering recipes to give your own flair to the drink. You're like a master chef, but instead of food, you work with drinks. And just as restaurants have their own flares, so do bars. Each atmosphere different and set not just by the owners and customers, but by the drinks served. Going to an Irish pub is different than a cocktail lounge. A sports bar has higher energy than a wine bar, which is a more relaxed mood. A bar in a small town differs from those in metropolitan areas. Bars in Japan aren't the same as one in Europe. What makes bar culture so amazing is its unique look into wherever you are, both in overall culture and in people. People in bars tend to have their walls up less, they're more easygoing, talkative, and approachable. They feel they can share their victories and their sorrows there all the same. Bartender is able to capture this unique charm of the different types of people that would walk into a bar and show how just being somewhere where another person can listen to them can really benefit their own mental health. You see it with a troubled writer who is being crushed by the expectations around him. An old man who is able to reminisce of a past friend through enjoying a cocktail he used to make for him, or by enjoying a whiskey that he would have had with his late son. A tender who is able to show his ambitions to his father through service, those struggling internally finding companionship in the halls. Bars and their tenders, if they desire, can provide a very cathartic experience whether it's a high-end or dive bar. Connecting with others is what makes these places so enjoyable. Bartender conveys the beauty and the harsher sides of the culture. To me, this was the FMA of my newly defined genre, yet once again my love did not do anything to grow its popularity. Recently, the anime got remastered and re-released to a larger viewership size about 150,000 or so. While this may have pulled higher numbers than its 2009 counterpart, it isn't enough to cause other studios to want to replicate the format. The show was well written, it was a perfect heartwarming tale, the animation was well done. It had everything you could ask it for, yet it couldn't reach the broad appeal. What stopped it from reaching a higher viewership? The culprit, the concept behind the show. A show revolving around a bar and its occupants doesn't turn people's heads if they aren't interested in the culture. This shrinks the potential viewership pool rather quickly. And to add to that, anime's biggest demographic of audience are people who aren't even 20. If I had to guess, a large portion of you watching right now are either around there or under. And unless you live in Europe, drinking isn't something you can, you know, 
publicly do yet. And so why would you care about a show revolving around a bar and cocktails? But lately, the number of people watching anime has grown and so has the age demographic. And so you would think there isn't a reason that anime revolving around a bar or alcohol theme shouldn't be able to do well. Well done if you are thinking like that, because I agree. But regardless, Bartender still lacks that spark that makes it entirely unique. I love the grounded reality it went for, but concepts like that always get less traction than those that have some fantastical elements to it. To reach a broader audience, to engage viewers that have no interest in the bar and cocktail side of the show, you need a gag. And this anime is a perfect example. Death Parade, a show surrounding a bar between the dead and the living, is a prime example of a perfect execution appealing to the masses. A focus on character-driven narrative in a relaxed atmosphere of a bar. A show that makes you contemplate moralistic views. This show was all you could hope for, and its audience size was something massive. Millions watched this series. So what made Death Parade so successful while well, Bartender fell to a niche demographic? The answer is rather straightforward. The concept of Death Parade is mystical and provides those who aren't necessarily interested in drinking culture something else to grab their attention, a unique genre-spanning concept. Bartender was grounded in reality, Death Parade existed between living and dead. Bartender followed a normal worker, highly skilled at his job and the people in his life. Death Parade's bartender is a mystery waiting to be unraveled, listening to tales of the recently dead. In one were in purgatory, the other were down the street of Shibuya. The stakes are lower, there isn't much of a mystery for us to unravel, and it's harder to grab people and get them to watch. But if Bartender did anything differently than it did, it wouldn't be the show it was. I love Bartender's direction because its focus is only on appealing to those that are in love with the culture. The anime knew what audience it wanted, people like me who enjoy that bar culture, that are interested in bartending and in cocktails, and a story of people that exist in that world. It's entertaining and much more relaxing than, say, watching the second season of JJK. It's a change of pace and you feel almost as if you're sitting at the bar with these characters. It may have not been flashy, but it really never needed to be. It's a shame that can be a turnoff for some, but at the end of the day, it isn't always a about the numbers. It's about how your creation resonates with the people who do enjoy it. Something true in bartending and in animation. To wrap this up, this self-created genre I call bar anime is something I hope to see more often. If there can be a cooking anime genre, why couldn't this exist as well? And so, I hope this video inclines you to give it a chance if you haven't before. It may just captivate you, even if it's something you wouldn't normally pick up. So, until next time, matane.